What's up everybody, Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. So good to have you, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to tie up a few sheep's head rigs. Uh, these are some of my favorite rigs to tie up when targeting sheep's head or any other inshore species really. Sheep's head bite has been on fire and uh, the sheep's head tournament is this Saturday. So I'd like to share a few tips and uh, tricks on how to target these convicts. Before I show you guys the rigs, I use to target uh, sheep's head. Before we do all that, let me show you guys the rod and reel combo and as well as the, uh, the terminal tackle you need to be able to get out there, uh, target sheep's head and just crush it. This rod here is a Shimano Zodius, seven foot medium light, super sensitive. I can cast pretty much all day with this, uh, this, this rod here. Paired up with Shimano Accents 3000, just a good overall insurer. Uh, outfit right here. 10 pound braid, that's all I'm running. That's all you really need for uh, for inshore fishing, fishing wide open water. Paired up with 20 pound leader. Uh, any leader will do. I'll show you guys the leaders in a little bit. Typically when sheep's head fishing, you just wanna go with small hooks. Like this one here is a owner Gorilla Light size number one. Now you don't have to go out there and get the same exact outfit as me. Uh, there are a lot of good options out there nowadays. Another good reel would be Shimano Stratic, Shimano Vanford. 3,000, 2,500 is all you really need when targeting sheep's head or inshore fish, really. Seven foot, medium, medium light will do. You don't have to go out there and get the most expensive gear when it comes to fishing, but uh, just, you know, get a decent, decent gear. Spend a little bit, but just don't go over the top. You know, don't go out there and buy a Stella on your first, uh, first reel, as your first reel and a, you know, St. Croix legend or whatever, but you get the point. All right, now let's talk about the terminal tackle side of the uh, sheep's head fishing. Let's start off with the line. So when it comes to sheep's head fishing, I like to go as light as possible. I typically run 15 pound and uh, 20 pound. This right here is a Seaguar inshore fluorocarbon leader. This is probably the best bang for the buck. You get hundred yards for like, I wanna say 20 bucks or so. Can't beat it, holds up. Uh, I use this for pretty much everything. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just showing you guys what I use. So keep that in mind. No sponsors. 15. Uh, and like I said, you don't have to go out there and get, you know, the same exact brand as me. Uh, I just, I just like these because just, it's, it's just personal preference, really. Uh, all these brands out there are really good nowadays. For 15 pound, I, I like to use Yuzuri fluorocarbon. Let's move on to hooks. So when it comes to hooks, like I said, you don't have to go out there and get the same exact hooks as me. Um, there's a lot of good uh, hook brands out there. I personally like the Owner Gorilla Light Size 1. The smaller, the better. Um, I like it because it's super stout. That way, when you set the hook on these fish, you know, you can just stick them really good and you don't have to worry about the, the hook bending or any of that. And when you're, you're de-hooking the fish, like using a pair of uh, pliers, you don't have to worry about bending the hook with a, with a stouter hook. I know I've had issues with using uh, thinner wire hooks in the past. I stick them right, land at the fish, try to go unhook them, and I bend the hook. So I usually stick with a short shank uh, J hook. You can also use jig heads too. I mean, bottom sweeper jigs, which I don't have. I know a lot of guys love those. I just, I just have this here. This is an Eagle Claws, I want to say a quarter ounce jig head. And you can put shrimp on there. Uh, crab's going to be the best bait when it comes to uh, sheep's head fishing. I use a lot of like mangrove tree crabs, fiddler crabs, sand fleas too sometimes. All right, next, let's talk about lures you can use to target sheep's head with. My favorite lures uh, to use when it comes to sheep's head fishing would have to be these uh, chase bait crabs. You guys have seen me use these lures um, a whole lot. My personal favorite color would have to be this one here. The dark back with the orange belly. They love this thing, man. As soon as this bait hits the water, they just charge at it. It's insane. I mean, I, I wish you guys could see what I see when I'm out there on the water fishing these baits. It's insane. They love it. Very effective along the, uh, the mangroves, along docks. Um, just not as good though in the wide open water. In the wide open water, you wanna use something like the salty net shrimp. Uh, I mean, these are very effective too, not just for sheep's head fishing, uh, snook will hit it. Just about, you'll catch just about anything with these uh, net shrimp. Um, 
These crabs too, you'll catch redfish sometimes and a like, uh, black drum. But I like to rig it up with like a one-tenth um, bullet jig by Z-Man. This one here is a little heavier, this is a one-sixth. But typically when I'm running salty net shrimp, I go with like a one-tenth. You know, with the lighter bullet jig heads, the bait just flutters down it's so natural that the sheep's head can't resist it. All right, let's start off with the first rig. This rig here is definitely my favorite. 99% of the time when I'm out there fishing for sheep's head or just inshore fish, really, I use the free line technique. It's the most effective, it's the most natural uh, presentation. All you have to do is tie three foot of leader material onto uh, your 10 pound braid main line and then tie it off with a, a one size one or one odd uh, J hook. That right there is the owner gorilla light. That's what I like to use when it comes to sheep's head fishing. But the reason why I like to use free line is because it's the most natural presentation and because the sheep's head are so finicky sometimes, you know, when you when you see them, 90% of the time, they already, they already saw you. So you have to be really stealthy and try to not let them see you. I mean, you've seen me in the videos just like kneeling down, just walking along the seawall, trying to look for these fish. So when you're fishing for them in like a couple foot of water, definitely go with the free line rig, free line method. Uh, if you were to use like a half ounce X sinker or even a quarter ounce X sinker. When that bait hits the water, they can feel it. Like they'll, they'll spook off, like you will not catch them. I've even had them spook off with just me using a crab. Sometimes when that bait hits the water, if it's big enough, when it makes that loud splash, they'll spook off and you won't catch them. So definitely use free line method uh, when you're fishing shallow water, uh, sight fishing for them on like oyster bars and stuff like that. These sheep said do love to hang around structure. They're like oyster bars, docks, um, bridges. I've used the free line technique along bridges too, but it's not ideal for you to free line in like, you know, 10 feet of water or, you know, 15 feet of water for these uh, sheep said, but it can be done and it can be effective. You just gotta let a lot of line out, uh, especially when you're like on top of the bridge especially if you have like winds going and stuff like that. Just gotta get out there and, uh, and try it yourself and find what works best for you, really. Try on error, that's all it is. Anyways, let's move on to the next rig. So the next rig I'd like to show you guys would have to be the knocker rig. This is how you tie a knocker rig. So you have your floor carbon leader right here, like three foot, four foot, however long you want, tied onto the main line using a double uni knot or you know any line to line knot will do. Got your leader here and the weight X sinker. I just have happen to have uh, three eighths. Depends on how deep of the water you're gonna be fishing. I try to go as light as possible. I don't know. Um, I've always had success with like using lighter, lighter gear, lighter tackle, lighter outfit. Really. Uh, so around Tampa Bay area, when I'm fishing for sheep's head, um, like in deeper part of the water. Sometimes I'll just go with like a 3 8 slide that leader line through the X sinker like that. And then literally grab the Gorilla Light hook, slide that tag end through the eye of the hook and just tie it off with the, you know, fisherman's knot or uh, clinch knot, improved clinch knot in this case. Just like that. There's the knocker rig, and all you need is a live fiddler crab or mangrove tree crab. You'll get those sheep's head. All right, the second to last rig I like to show you guys would have to be the Carolina rig. Like I said, I don't use these two rigs a whole ton. I just stick with the free line method because um, I like to be able to see the fish take the bait personally. But another effective uh, rig would have to be the Carolina rig here. Let me show you guys how to tie it. So you have your leader material right here and your main line right here. All you have to do is get you a barrel swivel, something small like that. And all you have to do is, oh, we forgot. <laughs> See, that's when you know I don't tie this rig that often, but it is, it is very effective too. It depends on where you're fishing at, like deeper part of the water, uh, fishing bridges, just anywhere that's deep really, five to 10 feet deep. Um, Oh, I just lost that leader material. 
Oh, it's right down there. But anyways, so this is how you tie a Carolina rig. Just slide that X sinker onto the main line, just like that. And then what you want to do next is tie that main line onto the, uh, the barrel swivel. Use a clinch knot. I would definitely use a improved clinch knot on this because I've had, you know, the clinch knot just slip on me when it's just like, when it's just a regular clinch knot. So you have to tie a uh, improved version. Let me show you guys how to do that. So I've got my barrel swivel right here. Tiny barrel swivel is all you really need. Now, you want, what you want to do is twist that barrel swivel just like that. It's just like a, a clinch knot, but there's another method or another thing you have to do um, for the improved clinch knot. Slide that, uh, that barrel swivel in, twist it, and then now feed that tag end through that loop you just made, right? Hold on to the, uh, the loop you made, like that. Now slide that tag end onto the second loop, the, the bigger, bigger loop. I'm sure if you look up on how to tie an improved clinch knot, there'll be plenty of videos out there. But slide that tag end onto the second loop you just made, and then you can wet it if you want to. You don't need to, but just pull onto that main line like that, and it should cinch down pretty good, and that knot is locked tight. It's not going anywhere. There's that. Um, typically, I use like 3 8 Like I said, 3 8 Rarely do I use half when it comes to sheep set fishing. Then again, I'm fishing in like you know, from anywhere from two, three foot to like 10 feet of water for these fish. Like I said, I do love to uh, sight fish for them. So I don't use these, uh, these rigs that often, but they are very effective, uh, especially if you're just starting out fishing in general. Um, Carolina rigs good and uh, the, the Naco rigs good. So all you have to do now is get you uh, leader material that has dropped so 15 pound leader material tied onto the other tied onto the other side of the uh, barrel swivel slide that through with this one here you don't have to do the, the uh, improved version just do a regular clinch knot it's fine with the leader material because it's floral leader uh, mono leader they won't they won't slip on you just like that no improved clinch knot needed, just a regular clinch knot. So again, your main line, your weight right here, X sinker, your barrel swivel. And then at the end here, what you want to tie is owner Gorilla Light J hook. Just use a clinch knot, twist like that. Hold on to the tag end and just cinch it. That's it. There's your Carolina rig or the fish finder rig. And you can use this for uh, uh, fishing with live shrimp as well, sand fleas. Um, it's very versatile. All right, so the last rig I want to show you is very simple, just fishing with a jig head. Uh, I've been using this Eagle Claws jig head, quarter ounce. I believe it's a quarter ounce. It might be an eighth ounce, but anyways, you guys get the idea. Small jig heads like this here is very effective when fishing fiddler crab or uh, mangrove tree crabs, sand fleas too. But there are a lot of jig heads out there you can use for sheep's head fishing. A very popular one would have to be the bottom sweeper jigs. I have yet used the bottom sweeper jigs, but a lot of guys like them. Uh, definitely check those out if you like to fish with the jig heads or if you want to try them out. But that's it for me. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Before I go, let me know what you guys like to use uh, when it comes to sheep set fishing, whether it be free lining, knocker rig, uh, Carolina rig. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see what, uh, curious to know what you guys like to use when it comes to sheep set fishing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.